The largest military transporting the U.S. arsenal is also one of the largest planes in the world, and its five decades of operation is worth celebrating. With the ability to swallow 50-ton main battle tanks and deposit them on another continent, the galaxy is an essential part of the global logistics system. Its primary mission is to transport cargo and personnel for the Department of Defense. The Super Galaxy is America's premier global direct delivery weapon system and the only strategic air carrier capable of connecting the homeland directly with fighters on all battlefields without refueling. Cold War Tank Mover the Air Force wanted a transport capable of carrying all the equipment necessary for U.S. Army Division halfway across the world, while transports of the time, including the C-130 Hercules and now extinct C-141 Starlifter, were big. They simply couldn't handle the most important item, the new M-60 main battle tank. The M-60 was 30 feet long, 10 feet high, and weighed 50 tons. The Air Force issued a requirement for a new super heavy transport plane, CXLHS, and set a performance goal of carrying 100,000 pounds a distance of 4,500 nautical miles at 440 knots. The plane that could do it would be not only the largest airplane in U.S. military service, but the largest airplane in the world. The plane's cargo box is 13.5 feet high, 19 feet wide, and 143.75 feet long. This adds up to 34,734 cubic feet of cargo space, or what C-5 maintainers call a warehouse with wings. The C-50 was an ambitious airplane. Lockheed Specs called for an aircraft capable of carrying an outside load of 250,000 pounds or 125 tons for a distance of 3,200 miles unrefueled. With a 100,000-pound payload, the C-5 it could fly 5,300 miles. The C-5 was projected to fly more and bigger cargo, and do it faster and with fewer planes. The C-5 would be capable of landing on unprepared airfields no longer than 4,000 feet. Following Lockheed's tradition of naming aircraft after astronomical objects and bodies, the company named the Flying Behemoth Galaxy. Hustling Cargo The cargo plane has outlasted the M60 main battle tank and can theoretically carry two Mona Atwell Abrams tanks, though just one Abrams is 50% heavier than the C5's maximum cargo weight. Alternately, a C5 can carry 350 people plus equipment, six UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters, and six M2 Bradley fighting vehicles. Getting cargo on off the galaxy is a lot easier than it looks. The C-5's bulbous nose is hinged, allowing it to rise up over the cockpit and providing full access to the cargo box. This is nicknamed the Knight's Visor. A ramp at the rear of the plane allows ground crews to drive vehicles directly onto the aircraft, where they are tied down to prevent load shifting in flight. The airplane's landing gear and 28 landing wheels can hydraulically kneel to truck bed height, allowing cargo to be offloaded directly from the plane to waiting trucks. Despite its size, the plane carries a small crew, pilot, co-pilot, two flight engineers, and three loadmasters. The plane's extreme range, it can travel 7,000 miles without refueling means it often carries multiple crews, and has provisions for up to 15 relief crew members. It can also carry 75 more passengers in airline-style seating separate from the cargo area. A humongous history. The first C-5 Galaxy flew on June 30, 1968, and soon began flying the Trans-Pacific run from California to Southeast Asia to support the Vietnam War. In 1973, C-5s were the backbone of an emergency airlift of supplies to Israel, which had been the victim of a surprise attack by its Arab neighbors. The airlift, nicknamed Operation Nickel Grass, saw the first C-5 in the air 10 hours after it began, with the first plane delivering 194,000 pounds of supplies. Over a course of 145 sorties, 
C-5s flew a total of 21,600,000 pounds of supplies, including tanks and helicopters, into the beleaguered country. The C-5 flew cargo throughout the Cold War, particularly to Europe for annual NATO exercises. In 1990, it participated in the air and sea lift operation supporting Operation Desert Shield, the effort to defend Saudi Arabia from Saddam Hussein's Iraq. In addition to Desert Storm and Desert Shield, C-5s took part in military and peacekeeping operations in the Balkans, Haiti, and Panama. After the attack on 9-11, C-5s ferried cargo into countries neighboring Afghanistan and then the country itself, once a suitable airfield had been secured. C-5s often accompanied the U. as President, carrying the vehicles of the presidential motorcade in advance of Air Force One. The C-5 could have carried the space shuttle. The Air Force converted two C-5 as to C-5C status, modifying them to carry space containers that safely transported satellites and other payloads. The C-5C could also carry an entire Atlas IA rocket and sections of the International Space Station. Launching Missiles by Plane Lockheed's Super Heavy Transport was even at one point evaluated as a launch vehicle for intercontinental ballistic missiles. In 1974, Aircraft 014 was loaded with a 43-ton Minuteman I missile. The Minuteman I was normally stored and launched from silo complexes in the Midwest, but the Air Force was investigating alternate basing schemes. On October 24, 1974, at 20,000 feet over the Pacific Ocean, 014 opened her rear cargo door, and the long, slender missile slid out. The aircraft shuttered the crew described it as similar to dumping a wheelbarrow full of water. A parachute slowed the missile's fall, and then the solid rocket fuel motors ignited, sending the nuclear missile soaring high into the clouds. The C-5 Galaxy also supported classified programs. The world's first purpose-built stealth aircraft, the Hab Blue demonstration plane, was airlifted out of Lockheed's facility at Burbank, California in the middle of the night and whisked away for flight tests in the Nevada desert. The C-5 could carry the entire plane without having to disassemble it. F-117 and Nighthawk stealth fighters, the first operational stealth warplanes, were also secret and flown from Southern California to Groom Lake, Nevada.